Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, protecting your fingers, protecting these little puppies that hold on to the racket is really important. I'm going to show you how to protect them. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So if you're like me, uh, we're kind of heading into spring, but it's still cold outside. So we survived the winter's cold. Uh, our fingers, although, all, our fingers um, maybe aren't doing so well at this point. If you do anything with your hands and you're a tennis player like me, I'll bet you you have construction hands construction worker hands. I mean, have you ever shook somebody's hand after, you know, you played three times, four times um, a week and played a bunch of sets, right? I'll bet you, unless you lotion up all the time, that their reaction is, oh, because your hands are rough. Your hands are dry. Your hands are like sandpaper, right? Because of all the friction from you gripping the racket. Um, you see Rafa, his jacked up hands, right? He tapes up pretty much every finger uh, just to protect it from cracking and bleeding and uh, blistering, right? I mean, you see, you guys have commented on seeing my hands all taped up too. Uh, that's from obviously stringing um, and playing because I actually have dry hands. Like this is just regular. That's my dry hands. For those of you who um, have those hands that kind of sweat profusely, right? You probably don't have this problem, but if you have normal to dry hands, um, you have this cracking problem. Now, the major point, if you're a tennis player, I can actually tell and people can tell because you have a jacked up thumb right there, right? This is my right hand. I'm right handed, obviously. You have a jacked up index finger that's right here, right? It's basically from holding the racket like that. Now, the other interesting part is you will have a jacked up right there. So that first line on the bottom, this will have a bump or a blister like thing. The last part is you will have something in the palm, um, depending on if you hold the butt cap right there. So this is pretty much caused from you holding the racket like this. You see the pressure point there, pressure point there, right? And I'm going to turn it over. Pressure point there from that, the, this edge is what's going to cause that to either harden or blister, right? And then middle finger there from that bevel, right? So you're basically grip, grip grip and grip so basically these are not gonna these two fingers are not going to be affected except maybe from dry so you're basically a three finger grip like that so how do you protect these though how do you protect your thing well how do you protect your fingers so i have a wide assortment of things that i use um I mean, you see Rafa using the tape. I'll show you how to use this tape. You want something that's soft, right? That you kind of would kind of feel like a skin. Uh, I know a lot of you climbers or hikers use mole skin. Um, I'm not sure if it's thin as this, but definitely could be a possibility too. Um, but definitely cloth. We want cloth. We don't want that plastic synthetic stuff like those band-aids because you will definitely feel it and it will definitely affect how you grip it and it will be uh, slippery on your hand. So the first thing I do is I take care of that middle finger first because I know that's going to be a problem child because I already feel that this is um, kind of not bruised but there's definitely a uh, hard skin right there. So what I want to do is just cover it right there. And I want to go maybe a couple times around. Just like that. 
okay? So, so as you see, Rafa and the other tennis players, you kind of move it around, move it around so that you kind of expand it a bit. Because as you play, this is actually going to stretch a bit. So we don't want it too tight that it cuts off your circulation, but we definitely want it snug. So number one, right there. Number two, we're gonna protect that thumb right there. And then the last place I use is the index finger. See all that dry skin? We're gonna cover that part up right there. Now, I'll bet you, you guys are saying, well, how do you freaking feel the racket that way? Well, would you rather feel this tape or would you rather feel raw skin on your, um, on your racket after every freaking change of a forehand to a backhand, right? So you kind of have to get used to playing with this. All right, another thing I like to use is actually Band-Aids. Um, as I told you, don't use that plastic stuff. Use the cloth stuff like this one. You see me taping up with this all the time. So it's not that Curad whatever stuff. This is cloth, as you can see, right? It's more like an athletic tape cloth um, type of protection for your hand. So it lessens the friction that you would feel and will not slip as easily as that plastic stuff. So make sure it's like a cloth and soft for your hands. See, I'm stretching this, right? Some of that cheap plastic stuff that you can't stretch like this. So this actually makes it feel like just your skin. When I'm holding the racket though, right? See, it's protected there, there, and there, right? Here though, we can't really do a whole lot. You're gonna have to cover up those edges to protect your palm. I've seen uh, people who are kind of new to the game and haven't developed blisters yet or hard skin yet have this part open up with a blister. So when it starts to do that, I see people wrapping it up. I mean, they're, you're doing it in vain. It's not gonna help. Um, I've seen blisters pop in that area and unfortunately, the only solution if you have to play is crazy glue. I know, that's an extreme way to take it, but you have to cover it up. It has to stop breathing. So crazy glue on there will actually help protect you from the friction and the feel of that butt cap. So in conclusion, I understand you guys are hesitant about putting tape on, but there's a reason why pros do it. If you suffer from uh, dry hands, cracked hands, especially in the winter, um, you're going to have to tape up. There's a reason why the pros tape up. So use a cloth athletic tape or a cloth band-aid. Uh, both of these will be your best friend. Putting, I've heard people say put gloves on. I mean, you're definitely not going to feel a thing if you put a glove on. But if you have to, I mean, they do make tennis gloves. Uh, there are golf gloves too. Make sure it's nice and tight on your hand. Because if there's any type of looseness in that glove, you will get a blister. Because it will be shifting around and causing a lot of friction in your palm okay so this is the way you tape up these three major fingers um and i wish you luck if you guys have any remedies um let us know in the comments maybe we can kind of share those uh secrets around too because you guys are uh brilliant when it comes to these things because uh, hey you never know what's out there and what people know because I mean, I, I know how to tape my hands, but other people might have better solutions. Okay? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.